Today I'm traveling with my infant right there. So I figured I would talk about travel tips for when you're you know, with your baby, what to do on a plane. I am traveling by myself and I do this quite a bit with my son. I have traveled with him ever since he was about eight to 10 weeks old. This is probably his 22nd, 23rd flight or something like that at 10 and a half months old. So um, I'm gonna share the things that I've learned from traveling with him pretty frequently. Mama. Already antsy, mama's in trouble. Allow yourself plenty of extra time. The most stressful part of uh, airline travel, in my opinion, is getting through security. You've got a lot you have to do, especially if you're traveling on your own. You have to put everything through the belt, through the conveyor belt. And that means not only your own shoes and liquids and all that stuff, that's a big enough pain in the butt anyway, but you've also got, you know, milk, formula, baby food that has to come out, and then you've got to fold up strollers, you've got to take infants out of car seats, it's a lot. What are you looking at? Are you reading that? That says Frontier. It's very smart. That's done now. Coffee. And I'd like to share this coffee because could that straw be any bigger? I'm like the ratio of cup to straw there is probably the most ridiculous I've ever seen. Take extra diapers. There's this weird phenomenon and no one ever told me about this. There's something about the pressure on a plane, particularly the first few times a baby has flown, and it causes some serious things to happen. I'm talking pooping, spitting up. There was a moment when my child just had stuff coming out all in. Okay, little man is all strapped in. Mommy is armed with stuff. I'm sure someone will come sit there with making use of it for the time being. Hey bud, you can be a good boy. Our pediatrician gave us a really good piece of advice that I think is great for anyone, even if you're not traveling with a baby. Planes are dirty. If you take some sanitizing wipes, um, like those those Clorox wipes or uh, or the the hand sanitizer wipes, or even just baby wipes, and try to wipe the area around you down. And it's even if you have a newborn and the baby's not going to be actually crawling around and touching things yet, you're going to be touching things and then touching your baby. The cleaner you can get the area around you, um, the healthier you can keep you and your baby. I'm not crazy later. Babies cry on planes because they're not used to the feeling in their ears. So that might happen when they close the cabin doors and start to pressurize. Might happen on takeoff, might happen on landing, might happen um, while you're changing altitudes. The best thing you can do is give them something to suck on. It will pop their ears, whether that's um, nursing, which is probably the number one way to get them calm just because it's also soothing. A bottle, uh, when they're a little older, water. You can also give them a pacifier, wub -a nub Anything they can suck on to pop their ears will make them happy again. Oh, awesome. Should be pushing back from the gate here just Baby, a few more minutes. Me. <coughs> Seat. And Southwest. I love you. I think the best travel tip I can give you is to not let other people make you feel rushed or stressed. Whether that's going through the security line or that's on the plane. Uh, some people give you dirty looks when they see a kid coming. What are you supposed to do? It's a baby. Sometimes you can't stop a kid from crying. You might want to diffuse the tension right away and say, oh, we'll see how this goes, or I don't know, something to acknowledge the fact that, hey, you know what, I, I do know that I have an infant, and I know that it might be stressful, but I guarantee you it's more stressful for me than for you. So now I have to try to occupy this child while the plane loads and also hope that he doesn't scream his face off during flight. He's usually pretty good, but he's getting two teeth and he's getting over hand, foot, mouth. So. We'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. You really just have to know that you're not going to have a relaxing time. You're going to be entertaining a kid the whole time, and you just should should make sure that you uh, you you think about the reward of showing off your baby on the other side to their grandparents or friends or whatever. You just have to think this is worth it. This is worth it. That has to be the mantra. Nashville. You hear the music? We did it. Yay!